This is a normal Lego minifigure, and this is a tiny Lego minifigure. In this video, I'm going to be showing off the differences between giant Lego models and tiny Lego models. So let's get into it. So let's just start off with a minifigure. So this is a normal minifigure. It comes in like every Lego set ever. But this is actually a micro figure, which comes in select sets, and it can be used for different things. And this is about as tiny as Lego goes. There are actually these baby Lego minifigures, like for Baby Yoda, and this is actually a really good example to see the size of Lego. You have the smallest, you have the medium with the brick heads, and then you have the big with the big buildable Grogu. Advent calendars actually have so many tiny Lego builds in it, because that's basically all they have. So let's just speed run a couple. We have Luke's house from Tatooine, big little and this is kind of a double one because inside of luke's house there's actually a micro fig of leia from the recording so there you go double big tie fighter little tie fighter uh i don't really have much to say about this one every advent calendar ever is based to come with tie fighter this one's cool big razor crest little razor crest a newer ship compared to the other ones the but it looks really cool next to the small one big a wing little a wing i don't have the big big a wing um and be just because i didn't want the video to get too uh, repetitive the big a wings also in green and the little ones in red but just, just just shut up big slave one little slave one the slave one is a really popular sh sorry i'm i meant boba fett's starship please lego please i'm sorry but this ship is actually so popular in lego and that's why there are many big ones and a couple of small ones and they look pretty nice next to each other small one is not nearly as cool as the big one big x-wing little x-wing one of the most made star wars sets in history and it's 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 a big x-wing a little x-wing i don't know the little one is r2d2 i guess that's cool and finally the most remade lego set in star wars history big millennium falcon and little millennium falcon but there is a big difference between these builds and for some reason the mini one went on a diet and he's super skinny now i don't know why they did that this is a, 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 i mean you're supposed to be able to fit like people like this is this but it, it's a creative choice, I guess. You do you, Lego. So that is all the mini builds from the advent calendars, but there are actually more mini builds if you know where to look for them. So these next tiny Lego builds are feeling a bit magical because they are both from the wizarding world of Harry Potter. And Lego has actually made two miniature scale Hogwarts castles. And these builds in themselves are not tiny, but compared to the normal scale of Hogwarts, they're very simmed down Sim, what the heck does that mean? They're a very slim down scale of the actual Hogwarts castle. They've actually even made one that is tiny, that's a Hogwarts poly bag. So there you go. If you want a really tiny build, there it is. My floor's so creaky, can you hear that? Tiny Mario, anyone? Well, here it is in the NES. If you take off the side of the build, there's a little Easter egg in there that is a tiny version of a level from Super Mario Bros. And it even comes with a little mini Mario. And the TV itself also comes with a very more detailed Mario. I, I English good. <laughs> Another Lego Star Wars mini one is actually the May the 4th promos and they are just basically miniature vignettes of famous scenes from Star Wars. And a lot of people really did not like these ones so we don't really talk about these ones much just like I had to re-record the outro because the old outro sounded like absolute garbage. I hope you do enjoy this video. It's a bit Sorry about the other clip. It sounded bad and I'm really mad that it sounds so bad. Dr. Seuss over here. But for some reason my mic has an echo dial which basically means make audio bad. And somehow the dial is turned on so the old audio is echoey. I'm really sorry. I tried to fix it. Just sorry but anyway i really do hope you enjoyed making making this video you didn't make the video i hope you didn't because then i'd be copying you i really hope you enjoyed watching this video uh it took a lot of time to make a lot of recording obviously re-recording but i do hope you enjoy i enjoyed making it so i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i did please subscribe if you did enjoy it we're getting really close to a thousand and i would really like to hit it before the end of the year that'd be cool if we can't you know that's okay but i would prefer it if we did yeah thanks so much for watching hopefully my quality is going to start improving a lot uh, uh you'll see why in a couple of videos videos whenever the stuff I need comes but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye